Now to your election watch in the 2017 general election, now about a month away. And between now and then, we're providing you with the information you need to know to make a very informed decision on November 7th. We kick off our coverage with Colorado Springs Issue 2A. It's a proposal to enact a fee to fund stormwater repairs and improvements. News 5's Zach Faxon here with us tonight with our balanced coverage. Zach. If approved, Issue 2A would authorize funding of a stormwater enterprise, which would be in charge of construction, maintenance, and operation of stormwater infrastructure throughout the city. The city of Colorado Springs faces $460 million worth of required stormwater improvements over the next 20 years. It's a promise made to Pueblo to ensure utilization of the Southern Delivery System and to the EPA, which sued the city over neglect of its stormwater infrastructure, the result of rejected or rescinded taxpayer funding mechanisms over the past 25 years. Currently, funding for those improvements comes from the city's general fund. In question 2A, the city is asking voters to approve a new fee to fund stormwater improvements through a separate stormwater enterprise. All residential property owners and renters would pay a flat fee of $5 extra on their monthly utility bill. Non-residential property owners would pay the city a monthly fee of $30 per acre. The fees would remain in place for the next 20 years. Proponents include two-thirds of city council, the editorial board of the Colorado Springs Business Journal, and Mayor John Southers, who says the $17 million per year freed up in the general fund would be used to enhance public safety through hiring of more police and firefighters. We need 100 to 120 more cops in the next five years. We cannot do that unless we free up general fund by instituting a, a stormwater fee. Opponents of the fee include one-third of city council, Taxpayers' Bill of Rights author Douglas Bruce, and conservative activist Laura Carno. They argue the fee is disproportionately burdensome on lower income earners, benefits developers, is a property tax in disguise, and that the city already has enough money to pay for its stormwater obligations. The city actually has record revenues. So I think that the mayor should look within the existing city budget, just like we do in our own homes, um, to see where we can get the money from and not ask the taxpayers for yet more money. We cannot uh, uh, fix the uh, stormwater infrastructure problem and put 120 officers on the street in the next five years if we don't increase the revenue by doing what every major city does uh, and enact a very reasonable uh, stormwater fee. I think there's a little bit of tax fatigue going on out there where citizens are saying you can't find the money in the budget um, and you keep coming back to us, uh, do something different. If approved, the fee would take effect July 1st, 2018 and last through July 1st, 2038. You'll get to decide as soon as you receive your mail-in ballots, which are being shipped out next Monday, October 16th. You have until 7 p.m. on Tuesday, November 7th to mail in or drop off your ballot. And News 5 is your election 2017 headquarters. We have complete coverage of all the races across Southern Colorado. Just head to KOAA.com and click on Election